Hey, it's Dr. Linda Davis, and today I want to talk about another device that I've really enjoyed the last couple of months. And this is for those people who do not have access to high-speed internet normally. Um, I do not have access to cable internet or any kind of landline internet. So for many years, I kind of just limped along with satellite internet, which in our location, I mean, three MIPS is the most I could possibly get. And then they had this weird throttling thing where it was kind of higher speed during the night when nobody's up and, you know, lower thr throttle speed during the day. So that rarely worked for me as far as, you know, grading a lot of the IT projects, you know, I get. I, I made it difficult to work from home at all as a professor. So anyway, I um, kind of stumbled into this one. I was uh, on vacation complaining to somebody that how slow our internet was. And uh, he said that uh, he actually owned a company that, um, you know, installed dish satellite kind of stuff and other products. And he said, you should try Got W 3 And I said, well, what's that? And he said, well, it's basically just like a big hotspot that, you know, all you do is just plug it in for power. And uh, it's unlimited data. And that got my attention right there because, you know, we even have hotspots for, you know, um, in our Verizon hotspot, you know, even though it says it's unlimited, it throttles us at 16 gigs a month. And that's just not going to work for any kind of, you know, streaming TVs and things like that. Um, so I said, really, it's unlimited? He said, yeah, check out their website. So what, what you see on my screen right now is the website. Um, and like I said, it's got w3.com is the website. I ordered it, uh, you know, took a week maybe to come in. And it just syncs up with your, you know, local tower. And uh, if you've got a tower, and they can check. They can check with your address how close a tower is to you. They have two different hotspots. One's for kind of, um, you know, if you're kind of close to a tower, which surprisingly, I've had a tower nearby. And the other one is, uh, is a little bit more expensive. And uh, it's for when you don't think you're going to be out near a tower or they can't, you know, or they verify that you're not near one of their towers. You need one that reaches longer range. And, uh, or if you travel in an RV and you just never know, you know, what's going to be available to you, it supposedly works good for that. So I don't have that one. I was lucky to get the one that was just $79 a month for unlimited data. I had a tower kind of nearby, even though I live very rural. And uh, it's been fantastic. I mean, we, the first month, we just really tried out that whole unlimited data thing. You know, uh, we had checked it after a month and we'd streamed TVs, uh, I mean, several TVs. Um, for a whole month and uh, other our other devices as well and um, you know sent large documents you know back and forth quickly and we use over 400 gigs in that month's time and you know it never hesitated uh, never lagged uh, it was just a great thing I mean I've got a gamer in the house I think he did okay on it so um, that's why I'm making this video about this because I've never heard of it just happened to stumble into somebody that sold it told me about it and uh, even though he didn't service my area I certainly appreciated the information from him and so that's the website um, I ran a speed test earlier let me wake my mouse up here and there's my mouse and speed test earlier I've actually run two speed tests this morning uh, my last download speed speed now remember my satellite internet was no better than three mips on a good day um, this one um, I read it it was over 40 mips the earlier today and, and the last time I read it it was like 39.95 mips so we'll just call it 40 mips so and, and that's you know that's all I need I mean anything above 20 and I'm very happy about that you know so um, I thought that was pretty good um, if I run it again, I'll just do it for the sake of running it again, see what, and I'm using speedtest.net uh, to run it and, you know, forgive all the ads that pop up, but that's how I like to check the speeds every once in a while. And like I said, anytime I get over 20 MIPS, I'm happy because I can stream and all that. And while this is running, let me just tell you this. Oh, it's over 40, 44. Okay, cool. Um, and that's download speed, which is really what I care about. And uh, now it's going to do upload speed. So um, it's just amazing. Um, with We were able 
to get rid of our direct TV service because we've always had always had satellite internet since the early 90s. And I was it was a happy day when I called direct TV and said, you know, we don't need your service anymore. We're streaming now. And uh, you know, I got little Roku's on different TVs and uh, some smart TVs and. Um, it was just like game changer, you know. Um, let's see what it's up to. Oh yeah, 45 bits download speed this time. So I'm happy about that. So if you're one of those people that just, you know, internet challenged because you just can't get good internet in your area, I, you should consider Got W3. Um, they, they're easy to work with. It took me about a week to get it in the mail. And they just mail it to you. You take it out of the box, you attach the antennas, and I'll you can see the antennas in this picture here. Um, you attach the antennas and plug it into the wall and you're good to go. So there is also a portability factor here that I personally don't need. I don't have an RV. But those people who have RVs and you want to travel with really fast internet, you know, this is probably the best way to do that. Now, because I have a tower nearby, mine's 79 a month. I think the, the higher end unit is 99 a month. That's for when you think that either you're not close to a tower or you may be traveling and you know you you know kind of takes care of that problem of what you don't know if you're going to be near a tower or not so um, highly recommend it um, they were always available when I called with questions um, so something to think about it's unlimited initially when you order the device they do charge you up front for the device um, it's I think it was in the price the initial getting into it price was 200 low 200s for the device and the first month's uh, service so I was into into it like maybe three hundred and three dollars for that first month but then after that it's just been you know the seventy nine dollars so um, for my particular service level so think about that I will put some pictures uh, on there and uh, of it sitting on my desk and uh, it you know it serves the whole house I have like I said, I sent six uh, DirecTV receivers back to DirecTV because I had like a you know $240 a month bill with DirecTV at least. And uh, got rid of that, got rid of satellite internet, which was like $110 a month. And now I just have a $79 internet bill a month uh, with maybe a $60-ish YouTube TV service. So I'm saving lots of money with that option. And... Uh, it's just been a game changer for us at this house. And now I can work from home. I didn't do anything from home that I do at work. In fact, I think that my at-home internet is faster than my at-work internet. Um, so I hope this helps some of you out who struggle with having that fast internet at home. And you want to stream because everybody else you know is streaming. You know, but you're maybe too tucked away in a rural location that people can't get to you. So. And, uh, you know, I've been living here for 30 years and, you know, just have uh, never had access to cable. And I like this a lot better. I think I'll, I would, even if cable was available, I wouldn't go with it because this is portable. You can unplug it and take it somewhere and plug it in someplace else or plug it in your RV and off you go. Or put it in your car <laughs> and plug it in. Um, haven't tried that yet, but might need to do a test on that as well. Okay. So, um. I hope this helps some of you out there. I know I've been frustrated for a lot of years and this has just made a, a big difference. So thanks for your time. Have a good day.